Very good morning, my friends. How are you? Hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. So really, I'm very happy and proud about our results in the premium forex signals group. As you can see, guys, these are the results from last Friday. And as you can see, uh, three signals have reached the take profit levels. Meanwhile, we closed two signals only in a very tiny and small losses this behavior can be seen only with our forex signals group i don't think other signals providers are doing that i'm always telling you to please compare us with them because i have seen a lot of them and they are just letting any signal to hit the stop loss if it goes against their analysis meanwhile we are doing the best we can to not let this to happen i mean Closing any signal with uh, such as from last Thursday, closing any signal with 25 pips or 16 pips is a huge amount for us. And we are doing the best we can to recover immediately in the signals coming after. That can be seen actually in the signal or sorry, the messages that we are received from the clients who have entertained the signals after joining for only one week. This guy here, he's telling that he have literally, literally enjoyed the signals during the week. You only need little patience. And look at that, even after closing some of these signals if you wait it turns to positive you're simply perfect keep it going and perfect and here also recently joined the vip i must say knowing that you uh, all keep us posted of when we should close a trade going against the original analysis is much appreciated that's what i'm talking about these are the kinds of messages that we are looking for um the appreciation of what we are doing and hopefully these guys are entertaining <coughs> making money with our signals so if you wish to join extreme trader forex signals group please contact our support you can find their contact details in the description below this video contact them today and hopefully we will see you there okay so let's now begin with the weekly analysis and of course as usual we will start with the euro ust now the euro usd we can notice that the pair has actually made several attempts to break out from the support level right here exactly at uh, 1.2813 uh, this this support level actually was a strong key support level and this last candle which has closed on friday night is telling us a lot it's telling us that there was a strong pressure from this support zone right here the pair has actually reversed immediately right after touching that support zone if we go to the four hour time frame we can notice that the pair actually has made a, a bearish breakout from that support level at 1.2182 and immediately continue to fall down but once the pair has actually touched that support zone immediately the market has been rejected or the break the continuation of the breakout or the bearish mov uh, momentum has been rejected and the buyers has actually took the market up right that right right there so that telling us that the market is actually going to continue the rise this week and now it's a matter of where we can start again uh, buying the euro usd if i'm not mistaken right now if we check the fibonacci retracement right here if we draw here a Fibonacci retracement, we can not notice that the pair actually right now facing a support, uh, sorry, a resistance on 61.8 retracement. And the pair actually has a reverse on Fibonacci level 50 or Fibonacci retracement 50. Now, our best chance to, to start actually buying the Euro USD right from the Fibonacci 50 again, which is going to be the attempt number three of the support. Now, I'm saying this because I'm not expecting actually for the Euro USD to continue the rise immediately at the opening on Monday. Since we are right now facing a strong resistance on Fibonacci 61.8, I think the pair is actually going to make another pullback just to, re to revisit the broken support on uh, Fibonacci retracement 50, which is uh, 1.2080. I think also that the pair might make a breakout from Fibonacci 50 and therefore we can again start buying the euro usd at 1.20585 however that gonna be happen only if we see a bearish breakout from the fibonacci 50. if we see a bearish breakout from fibonacci 50 it means that the pair might continue the fall only to, to fibonacci 38.2 which is gonna be the level uh, 1.20625 uh, and that is gonna be another good level to start buying the pair of course as i said that is only if we have witnessed a bearish breakout however I believe uh, the Euro USD is going to be better to start buying at that strong support zone, as I said before, at Fibonacci 50 retracement. Therefore, uh, we can use this as a safe zone or no need. It's okay. 
the euro USD should be good for the buy exactly from that level so we have to wait for the euro USD to fall for another 30 uh, 30 pips before gonna be valid for the buy so therefore buy at 1.2 uh, sorry 20878 that's going to be ideal level to start buying the pair and of course as i said before just keep the trade running for a few more pips if in case we see here a bearish breakout it might actually continue the fall until 38.2 fibonacci retracement which is going to be here a strong key support level so therefore the safe zone we have to increase it a little bit more uh 50 pips which is really fair enough uh i just want to increase it a little bit more just like that so the safe zone is ranging for about 51 pips only no more just like that and the target if in this case we started buying the pair we can keep uh, we, yes okay good we can keep the trade running all the way until it hit that strong resistance level at 1.22181 so we are actually aiming 130 pips profit from buying the euro USD. really hopefully we can make them so 1.22181 is our target and there goes your signal for the euro USD. hopefully also it will work very well very well and bring us lots of profits now let's look at the pound usd pound usd actually is making a very strong uh, bullish uh, rising right now as you can see before I, I told you my friends this long-term support level uh, is holding its position and it seems like the pair has actually uh, made already this one here we can see that this support right here is already keeping its position as a support so that support level is very strong and we can rely on it to again start buying the pound USD. However, uh, on, this is on daily candles. If we go to the four hour time frame, we can notice this is strong, very strong engulfing uh, bullish candle has actually made the breakout from that uh, resistance level right here at 1.38440. And therefore we can expect from the pound USD to fall a little bit more for another, I would say 40 pips or a little bit more. Uh, before it's going to be valid for the buy but of course i'm going to select this level right here uh, this level right here now the reason i'm selecting this level to start buying the pair is simply because this is the nearest support to the bullish breakout candle and if in case we started buying the pair right here we can keep the trade running a little bit more above that resistance so we are actually looking to make at least actually we, we can make more than that let me just uh, see it on the bigger time frame let's go to the daily candles and let's look at the left to find the nearest resistance so of course if we start buying from that le level of the support we can keep the trade running until the nearest resistance which is going to be exactly right here so we are aiming about yes exactly 115 pips of profit we are aiming this uh, this resistance level on 1.39353 therefore going back to the four hour time frame uh, the pound usd is going to be valid for the buy again by the pound usd at 1.38190 and the safe zone should be just ranging until that level of the support so we are talking about actually a little bit more it should be below that support level so it should be about 54 pips which is really fair enough let me draw for you the safe zone which is going to be just like that exactly and as i said before the target is going to be that previous resistance at take profit level at 1.39353 hopefully also it will work very well and bring us lots of profits let's now check the uh, the AUD UST so the AUD USD also is continuing its uh, bearish uh, sorry its bullish momentum as we can see and the pair actually is moving in a very strong uh, bullish trend as we can see right here my friends so the pair has reversed from or oh, sorry has continued bouncing on that strong support level as we can see right here and of course we are on the daily candles now if i'm not mistaken we can expect from the AUD USD to fall a little bit more hit that previous support level and then continuing the rise as simple as that so let's now move to the four hour time frame now i don't expect from the AUD USD to bounce exactly all the way to the to the support level again i think it's going to continuing the rise but however we have to find where we can start again buying the pair uh, the question is where are the strong support levels that we can re uh, rely on now of course if we draw here our horizontal line we can notice first of all that we had right here a strong support level exactly right here and by the way i'm just focusing right here and right here and also 
uh, right here i'm looking at the resistance also and the strong resistance right here so most likely the AUD USD, if i'm not mistaken on opening on monday it actually might rise a little bit more for very very few pips and then it's gonna continue with the fall right here before it's gonna be valid for the buy again from that level of the support and from that point we can start again buying the pair uh, we can expect from the AUD USD to fall a little bit more just to hit that support uh, zone but however i don't think this is gonna happen but however we always have to expect everything from uh when we, when we are trading forex of course we are ha having right here as we can see also another strong support level at 0 0.76812 that was a strong key support level and there is a possibility that if the pair didn't reverse on that support level it actually might make a str uh, another uh, retesting for that support uh, which was on 0 0.76812 uh, and from that point is again gonna continuing the rise so therefore that's actually gonna be that's gonna be our safe zone so therefore we are actually going to start buying the AUD USD at 0 0.7200 which is the, which is the ideal level to start buying the pair and of course the safe zone should be ranging just right here until the uh, lowest level of the strong key support level which is right here so we are talking about 60 pips maybe this is too much yeah that's fair enough exactly yeah that should be fair enough exactly 51 pips which is really good so let me just draw for you the edge of the safe zone and if we if we started buying the pair right here we can keep the thread running until it hit the strong resist or the peak of the resistance right here so we are talking about 97 pips of profit hopefully we will make it so take profit level 0 0.78163 there goes your signal for the AUD USD and I really hope also it will work very well and bring us lots of profits let's now take a look at the USD CAD uh this is actually from the last midweek analysis video and as we can see the tickets the sell order that i have sent on that video has been triggered and thankfully the trade is actually going in a good profit um so far it's going in 45 or 46 pips of profit fantastic and i really hope you guys have taken this signal so now what's next with the usd cad let me tell you something USD CAD is actually or definitely gonna continuing the fall so therefore we just need to look at these strong uh, levels which uh, which actually has been breaking out from and from that point we can expect from the pair to continue the fall now if we look right here remember I'm on the daily candles we are having here a resistance and right here as well and the same level was also a strong support right here as well so now if we look at that strong bearish candle which has appeared uh, last friday uh, we can notice that the the pair actually has closed with this reverse hammer this usually indicates a bullish reversal so what we can expect right now from the usd cad is a bullish uh, reversal for a pullback nothing just nothing more than a pullback and therefore this candle right here represents the nearest res resistance to the bearish breakout candle which was also previously a support if i'm not mistaken we will witness here a pullback and the usd cad is actually going to hit that top of the uh, the peak of this candle or the peak of this week and after that it's actually going to continuing the fall therefore continue the fall sorry so therefore uh, we can expect from the usd cad to rise for another 24 pips before it's going to be valid for the sell so sell usd cad at 1.27166 to 7 one double six yes and of course for the safe zone it has to be right here above that resistance level so we are talking about 50 pips which is really fair enough like that perfect and of course if we started shorting the pair we are actually aiming the lowest level of the support right here at 1.26132 that's going to be our target because if we look at the daily candles the pair is moving in a really very strong bearish momentum and definitely sooner or later the usd cad is actually gonna reach that support level and if i'm not mistaken eventually gonna make the break out from that support and continue the fall however we don't really care to what will gonna happen later because we are just aiming to make the profit from this short and after that we don't want to keep our trade running because um sometimes it's not advised to keep the trade running for a long time if you want to be successful in this business you always have to set your uh, uh a target to reach 
or are target to make per day and then stop trading. For example, if you made, for example, $500 per day from your trades, then just completely stop and, cont and stop trading. Don't continue trading. Don't get greedy and think, oh my God, yeah, I'm so good. I can do this. I can make more money. No, just set a, self a, a target for yourself. Today, I, ha I have a target to make $200. If I made 160 only, then I can stop for a while and just come back later before the day finish and I can just search search for the, for the market just to hopefully find some good setups that I can enter. If I couldn't find, then it's okay. If I can find something good I can enter and I can secure a profit, then I'm gonna enter it. And if I made $40 profit and complete or finish my target for the day, then I'm gonna f uh, stop trading for the day. I don't know why I'm talking about this. The whole idea is just this is your tech profit level <laughs> for the USD CAD. So there goes your signal for the USD CAD and hopefully it's gonna also work very well and bring us profits. Now looking at the USD GPY. USD GPY signal has been triggered from the last midweek analysis video and I believe we should keep just the same exactly because the, actually, so actually, you know something? Uh, no, let's make the signal right here at the attempt number two of the resistance. That's even better. Um, just okay. I just want to take this one a little bit more. Oh, perfect. So the idea here is uh, that the USDGPY is actually going to continue the fall. However, it, it rose all the way up just to retest the broken resistance at 105.120. And I think after that, the pair right now is facing right here a support level at 104.870. That's why USDGPY actually might make another pullback just to create a resistance attempt number two, because right here we can see that we have a resistance number one. And after that, the USDGPY is actually going to continue the fall to the same target we had before earlier on the midweek analysis video at 103.550. So therefore, we are actually aiming about 157. You know something? I just like to be more realistic and just uh, have a proper analysis. I would, for the safety of our clients or the view, uh, viewers, I want actually to reduce the target mm -hmm. because I'm just thinking where is the safest point or the more secure, more secure point that the UCGPY is actually going to reach before make any another bullish reversal. I believe if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, uh, the pair actually going to reach that strong key support level at 105.028. And after that, we can expect from the pair to start ranging for a while before continue the fall. So therefore, I think this is going to be more safe as a take profit level. So we are aiming 106 pips profit from this deal. So therefore, take profit level 104.028. Hopefully, it will work very well and bring us good profits. Let's take a look now at the USDCHF. USDCHF signal hasn't been triggered sadly just because the pair has reversed 5 pips before reaching our sell level. However, I believe the USDCHF is really good for the short right away. Why? Because the pair actually is now facing a major strong resistance level right here, as we can see at one, uh, sorry, at uh, 0 0.89203. And uh, the pair actually has made here a strong bearish candle. And therefore, we can expect from the pair to continue the fall immediately. Um, I don't see any way that the UCCHF can make any breakout from that strong key resistance level. That resistance is really strong and seems like the pair has no no chance at the moment to make any bullish breakout from that level that being said USDCHF should be good for the short immediately right away uh, from that level and that's going to be our safe zone and let me just fix this one uh USDCHF sell now as 0 0.89203 all right and the tech profit level is going to be almost the same. I think, uh, yes, to be honestly safe. Sorry, to be honestly, uh, or to be honest, yeah, it's more safe actually that we should keep the same. Yeah, that I totally like it. Yes, let's keep the same tech profit level and let's accept that this deal can bring us only 70 pips. And after that, let's see what will going to happen. So 
uh, we can expect from the UCCHF actually if you see the pair rising a little bit more it might actually reverse right here at the resistance level at 0 0.89388 uh, to create a resistance number three because also on the same level we can see that the pair actually has made another key resistance level on the very same level so we can expect maybe it will rise a little bit more to hit that same level before continuing the fall definitely by looking at the chart for the uccchf the bearish momentum is winner or actually stronger so we have to go along with the flow and i think uh, sooner or later maybe in the midweek analysis video we will change the target to be right here the lowest level as 0 0.87566 so there uh, therefore there goes your signal for the uccchf and really hope it will work very well and bring us lots of profits now let's move on to check the gold now actually i have spent really long time analyzing and reading uh, the articles and the news uh, about the gold and by studying the chart and from technical view i would say um calmly that gold should be good for the buy uh, there are so many other reasons but however one of them is if we look at the daily candles we can notice right here that the gold has eventually respected that strong resistance level right here at 100,000 uh, 16.48 now we can notice right here also just one second guys yeah we can notice here that the market has actually closed as a pin bar as we can see right here so eventually it seems that the gold has made a fake breakout from that level right here let me just go to the to the four hour time frame and show it to you this breakout here this massive breakout i think it was fake and i don't think or actually I believe it was somehow uh, tricking the traders to think that the gold is going to continuing the fall. However, by looking at the four hour time frames, I'm telling you something. This is my very favorite price action, which indicates a, bear, a, a bullish reversal. And I believe that the gold is actually going to be respected, uh, respecting the, the, the price action and eventually going to continuing the rise. Um, the daily candles and the four hour time frames all of them indicates that the pair gonna continue the fall and the pair as i said before is now facing the strong support level at 1820 and seems that the pair was about to actually make a breakout from the from that level and at that moment i i thought that the gold has crashed however it seems that in the end of the day the gold has managed to keep its level above 1820 and closed at 1824.50 indicates that most likely the gold is actually going to continue the rise that being said we are having right here a support number one and we can expect from the gold to fall a little bit more to create support number two and then and only then it's gonna be really good for the buy again the idea is to keep buying the gold as long as it is above the support zone however if the gold has made a breakout or a bearish breakout below that support level then we have to close the trade because it seems like that support has been breaking out from so that being said we have to wait for the gold to fall for another uh 76 pips before it's gonna be valid for the buy so therefore gold is good for the buy at 1816.48 exactly like that like that and the safe zone should be ranging as i said before since we are actually aiming to start buying inside that safe zone so the safe the safe zone should be ranging uh did i say say a uh, safe zone i mean sorry guys i meant the support zone we need to keep the buy order open as long as the gold is ranging inside that support zone so it's gonna be ranging for about 132 pips only and I believe this is really um, ideal when we are starting buying the gold. Meanwhile, we have to keep in our mind that the target is actually going to be right here, the peak of the resistance at 1,871. So we are actually aiming to make about five, 560 pips profit from this deal. Now, to be honestly uh, honest, I want to be honest. I just want to make sure everyone is going to make good profit from this deal. So therefore, I'm, I need to drag this take profit, profit take profit level to make it about 400 pips only and just be more realistic so therefore yes take profit level gonna be the peak of the resistance at 1855 there goes your signals for this week and i believe it's gonna work very well and i really hope 
especially the gold is gonna bring us lots of profits of course guys i apologize for the last deal of the day but however keep in mind that the previous deal was also very profitable and it hit the tech profit level and keep in mind also that all of the weekly analysis that i have sent including the midweek analysis video all of them were actually in the right direction and made profits for everyone so only i lost one deal among all of these other signals and i believe this is outstanding and a uh, very awesome work so i believe you guys um uh, hopefully gonna take these deals and i really want to know your opinion if you have made good profits and uh, if any of these signals have helped you to gain some profits please let us know in the comments so in the end i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching